up my friends? So I have used lots of different outdoor gear and clothing, but there is one thing I have yet to try. Waterproof socks. We've all heard of waterproof shoes and boots with Gore-Tex and other stuff, but waterproof socks? That's just crazy. There's a handful of brands that make waterproof socks, but these are made by Showers Pass, one of my favorite outdoor brands. They're based out of Portland, Oregon, and they know a few things about rainy days and sloppy conditions, and I love their gear. They make all sorts of highly visible and waterproof bike commuting gear, but these babies I'm excited to try for running. We're gonna go on a run today. Not only do they look pretty sweet, but they feel normal, they feel like normal socks. I was worried that they were gonna feel like wearing a plastic bag on my feet. Before I head out on the run, I'm gonna to prove to you that these socks are indeed waterproof. Here we go. Oh yeah, totally waterproof. My foot does not feel wet in the slightest. And I can use these socks to clean my toilet now, that's great. These are wonderful. So the goal for today is to put these socks to the test, go on a long run with them, see if they're waterproof for long periods of time, and most importantly, to see if they're breathable. As a runner, you don't wanna be wearing socks that are gonna keep your feet really hot and sweaty. You want them to be able to breathe. Sorry, bike, we're not going on an adventure today. I need to find some shoes. These shoes are already waterproof, so we don't want those, don't want these. I think I'm gonna pick my speed goats and they are already all cut up so they will allow lots of water in which will truly put these socks to the test. Yeah, like you can see it through there. Let's do it. All right, whoa, it's cold. So right off the bat, what I'm noticing is that they're very warm, which is nice because it's about 17 degrees out here. All right, I'm about a half mile into my run, feeling good. And I would never do this on a normal run, but I just wanna see how good these things work. I'm gonna walk right in here, up pretty high, won't get my pants wet, but yeah, okay. I'm just standing in freezing cold water. I feel pretty comfortable, I feel pretty good about my life choices right now. <laughs> and my shoes are definitely soaking wet, but it doesn't seem to have seeped into my feet yet. The socks are doing their job. One of the good things about getting outside when it's really cold is you pretty much have the whole world to yourself. Everybody's at home watching the prices right. It's been about 10 minutes since I submerged my feet in the frozen lake. And usually on a day like today that's very cold, my toes would be aching in pain, frozen. But they feel pretty good. Look at that, that's my backyard. Pretty sweet, I'm a lucky boy. Oh. Does that look good? All right. Look what I just found. Hi guys, how's it going? Whoopsie. Oh. Beautiful. What's up, Boulder? Whenever I'm up here, I like to just let out a few whoops and hollers. Woo-wee! <music> slippery waterproof socks can't do anything about slippery ice. <laughs> start talking a little funny it's because my lips are frozen <sighs> but my feet they feel great really I've been running now for about 45 minutes and the feet feel good my one of my big worries was that they would get too hot like I was running in a plastic bag but they they feel like any normal day of of running these waterproof socks are a bit thicker than my normal running socks so my foot is packed in my shoe a little bit more than normal. It's right at the edge of being okay 
But uh, if you do choose to get a sock like this, I would maybe get a half size bigger in the running shoes. Shoes, I can't talk. <laughs> Look, a bench. Perfect. I wanted to take a little break anyway. Ah. All right, so these socks, I'm pretty surprised. I was very skeptical about these socks, especially running in socks. I could see how these be, would be useful if you're like a, a fisherman, fisherwoman, and you're just standing in a river all day. But I thought for running, it wouldn't be any good. But I've been running for about an hour now, and they feel great. And one of the added bonuses is that my feet are warm. It acts as a warmer on a cold day like today. It's like a nice little hug for your foot. <sighs> it's quiet out here. Maybe I should shut up. <laughs> I just had an idea. I'm actually gonna take my shoes off and walk around in the snow with just the socks on. Oh, look at that, you can tell they're dirty. Look at those feet print from my dirty shoes in the dirty water. I'm doing this because I just wanna see if they're really like super waterproof when like touching snow. And uh, it's definitely colder. <laughs> it's definitely colder to do this, but I still don't feel water getting into the, sh to the sock, to my foot. All right, back at my house. Now time for the moment of truth. Let's take my socks off and see how my feet look. It's chilly out there. Let's see the feet. That might be gross. Hold your eyes, cover your eyes. That's crazy. They are completely, completely dry. That's nuts. I thought they'd be a little bit wet, but they're totally dry. Check it out. Look at my ugly feet. Look at my ugly toenails. Well, there you have it. Waterproof socks. Pretty darn cool, I gotta say. I am surprised. And some of you out there might be thinking, well, of course you're gonna say nice things about Showers Pass, Ryan, because they pay you. That is not true. They're not paying me to make this video. I've been loving their products for years. They do give me products. Um, but that doesn't mean I have to say nice things about them. I'm allowed to say whatever I want. I like Showers Pass as a company. I have lots of friends that work there and they make good quality stuff. If you like adventure videos, please like and subscribe. I have fun vids from all over the world. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.